Hi YouTube. This is the third in a series that I've been doing uh, with vintage cameras that I find are just absolutely wonderful uh, considering their age and how they've held up. This is a Spartus full view scene air uh, camera. It was manufactured uh, from the years 1948 to 1960 in Chicago by the Galter Products Company, founded by Jack Galter. Uh, this is a wonderful medium format, uh, quasi twin lens camera. Uh, it does have two lenses, but it's not a reflex camera. Uh, it has a 92 millimeter fixed focus lens. Uh, what's interesting the reason that Spartus uh, named this full view is that this viewing lens is larger than the taking lens, which means it lets in a lot of light, a ton of light, so it's easy to uh, see your image. Uh, take a look at the camera. It's a plastic body, uh, but it has a few advancements over some other cameras made uh, in that 12-year period between... 1948 and 1960. Uh, it gives you a choice of instant shutter speed or time, which of course would mean it would stay open, the shutter would stay open uh, for as long as you uh, wanted it. Or instant, which was about 1 50th of a second. And it still works. Uh, continuing on to the highlights, uh, it did come with a, a neck strap attached that was pretty standard back then for this camera it had a pop-up waist level viewfinder very nice very big and bright uh, you can see your whole image you didn't have to squint to see what you were looking at it has a nice strong uh, film back holder on it very strong, very tight. Even now, 57 or so years later, uh, it's still very tight. So once you pop that back, this back folds in an L shape. It opens up this way, exposing the whole back. Uh, inside, you can see, uh, it still this one still has, I borrowed this from a friend, by the way. Uh, it's metal take up spool 120 film is used in this camera uh, the chamber the the rear element if you want uh, is painted matte black so you have no reflection to a roller here so the film can advance from this section here here's your other roller the film would come around take up here here's your take up film advance now what I like to show people on this camera is the, the words on the back it says film to use in this camera Verichrome 120 with a star Plenichrome B2 that was made by Agfa and Cello C20 I couldn't find out too much about Cello C20 film uh, but it does take 120 film. On the back, the very back, it still has its red viewing window to see the numbers on how many frames you've taken. Uh, the 57 some odd years of uh, being born, if you want, the light uh, gasket uh, is a little hard and maybe even a little off center from the glue. This was probably just a piece of, uh, mm, I don't know if it's rubber or felt. If it was rubber, it's very hard. If it was felt, the glue made it hard. Hard to see. Uh, but it's amazing. There's no chips inside the back of the camera. Uh, I think this camera was used very little, actually. Then you would just close the back and then you bring down this bar for a very firm 
uh, tight, making it a light, tight box. So you would view here. What you're, you're looking at would be here. This is the picture-taking lens. Here's your shutter. And once again, a camera made in that period, 1948 to 1960, they did not have um, any safety uh, to prevent multiple exposures. You could just keep taking pictures on that same frame. It was up to you, the photographer, to advance the film. But the star of the show, of this particular camera, might just be an accessory, which very rarely came with the camera. The flash unit. This is just beautiful. Look at this flash bulb. Still in the same shape it was that it was made back in 1948. These must have been very expensive. Uh, and to use a flash, you had to make sure you had everything perfect. Everybody was looking the right way. Eyes are open. Everybody had their eyeglasses off. Uh, and you were close enough. And uh, just beautiful. This is a nice uh, curve on this reflector. Pretty simple. It gave you an adjustment on the back to, for this reflector to go up and down depending on your bulb size that you used. And look at this pin screw setup to attach it to the camera. You would take the pin, put it in the hole, slide it down, and you would attach your flash like that. I'm not going to take a picture with it because I don't have many of those bulbs. Like I said, this is my friend's uh, unit. I have to give it back in good shape. Uh, the pictures it takes is a two and a quarter square. Uh, nice, big, medium format negative. Two and a quarter by two and a quarter. It takes 120 film. Uh, today's market, just the camera, good condition. They're valued at about $30. But when you combine it with the bell of the bull, this huge flash attachment, then you're talking more than $60. Add the bulb, you're over $75. Uh, it most likely in the day came with a case. This one doesn't. Uh, plastic body. Nice. And one other thing you can tell if a camera in this era uh, was used a lot would be here. This paint on this deco, art deco style front uh, panel would be worn here and the paint would be worn off here from just the way you hold it. Your, your fingers would rub it off. The oils from your hand would deteriorate the paint. But this is in very good shape. No rust. Beautiful. Fine example of the Spartus full view. Scene Air 92mm twin lens from Galter Products out of Chicago. Uh, made This one was probably made in 1948 and probably not used. Uh, who knows? The film was not cheap back in the day. Getting it uh, processed, not cheap. It was a big thing to have to take pictures. It was a big to do. And this is just a fantastic example of uh, a camera that would be used for anything, anything at all. Uh, with this size flash, there's no reason uh, why you couldn't use this in, in the press as a press photographer uh, out on the field. Pretty simple. Put it up to your eye. Make sure the film's advanced. Make sure you have it set on instant. If you needed a bulb, probably did. If it's inside, say a courthouse, a big trial back in 1949. Boom. Take your picture. Beautiful. Nice big negative. You could process it. Print the contact sheet. And use that photo right into the paper. Beautiful. Nice example of this Chicago-born Spartus 120 camera. Have a great day.